rising like the smoke you linger on me you got me so high i can finally breathe you Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on this fall inspired look. I was on Instagram and I came across this photo and I was just like, yes, this is giving me major fall vibes. Fall is here. I think it has to be my second favorite season. I just love summer so much. I love summer for the clothing, the makeup, the feeling, the heat. I just love summer overall, but fall has to be my second favorite because of that like it just has to come second like I just feel like if I could just live in a place where it was just summer and fall back to back over and over again they just alternated I would be happy for the rest of my life because I don't need any other seasons I don't really care for spring and all the rain and stuff and I hate winter I absolutely hate winter I hate snow I hate cold and I live in a place where I get all of that so you could take it you could have it I don't want it you could take it, I rebuke it, you could have it back, cause no. But anyway, <laughs> completely off point, this makeup look is super fall and I'm feeling the fall vibes and I just love it. I like the way that it came out. It was a struggle though, like I, I had some trials and tribulations during this makeup tutorial that thankfully you guys didn't get to see because I will be doing a voiceover. So let me just cut this intro real short. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Join my family here on YouTube. And if you wanna see how I got this makeup look, then make sure you keep watching. Okay, so jumping right in, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium, and I'm just applying this on my lids as my eyeshadow base. I've really been loving the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer overall. It's just become one of my absolute faves, which is no surprise because everyone loves it. And then I'm going in with my ultimate fave, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just setting all of that. The first shadow I'm going in with is Chickadee from Makeup Geek, and I'm applying this with a Morphe E27. I'm going to have all the brush names on the screen as normally and I'm just applying this in the crease and really blowing it out all the way to the tail of my brow bone and then I'm going into the Morphe 35O palette this is the matte and shimmer palette and I'm picking up this really light orangey yellow shade um, this is the shade I was going for I thought chickadee was gonna come across more like that one but it was a little too orange so I went into that palette and picked that shade up and then I also picked up this really vibrant orange color and I'm just applying that with a more defined but still a blending brush this is the MAC 221 and I'm applying that in the crease and I'm focusing it on the outer third as you guys can see in small circular motions and then I'm going back in with a little bit of chickadee in a clean MAC 217 brush and just applying that right above it so it can blend together the two then I'm picking up Makeup Geek's Cherry Cola and I'm applying that to the outer third with my 221 as well. I'm applying it first on a, as a packing motion. So I'm packing it onto the outer third. And then I'm dragging it into the crease all the way into the inner third of my eye. So pack and then blend. Um, and that's because I want most of the shadow to be focused on the outer third, of course. Going back in with more of Chickadee. And I'm just uh, blending all of that out. Then I'm picking up that orange shade again. And I was just like, I lost the orange in between Cherry Cola and Chickadee. I lost the orange, so I'm just putting it right back in the crease where I want it. Then going back in with Cherry Cola, <laughs> and we're just going to do the same thing. This is going to be a lot of like building and then blending it out and building and blending it out, of course. And then I'm going in with this Star Crush Minerals yellow shadow i forgot the number but i'll have it in the description box it's this yellow mustardy color i was expecting more colored pigmentation i mean the pigmentation was somewhat there but they were very like it was weird like they were very soft shadows so they go on as one color and then as you blend it out it kind of disappear and then get a little darker which wasn't so bad it wasn't the my most favorite eyeshadow to work with which is why I was just kind of getting frustrated I was just like whatever <laughs> let's just go into the highlighter and just pop that on the inner corner um, 
I actually used Fenty Beauty's Trophy Wife on my inner corner. And then I'm running Chickadee and Cherry Cola, just those two shadows along my lower lash line. And I really, I made this a drop shadow, so it's kind of intense. You don't have to bring it down as much as I did. I just really wanted that really blown out, smoky look. And then I'm popping Hustla Baby on my brow bone. This is another Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter. So that's going right on the brow bone. And then for lashes, I'm using Whipped Lash in the style Fierce. This has easily become my new favorite lash brand just because they're so dang affordable and they're so cute. Um, in my last video, I used Whipped Lash as well, so I've really been loving them. And then for my lips, I'm so mad because I can't find my cork lip liner anywhere. I'm going to have to buy a new one, and I wasn't even done with mine. I think I lost it. Um, but I'm using Chestnut today, and then I'm filling in my lips with Colored Rain's Liquid Lipstick in Suede. Um, which is like this really cool tone brown. I'm just loving it, yes. And then I was like, I needed something a little light in the center, so I'm popping Dose of Colors Supernatural Liquid Lipstick right in the center and then just blotting that out. So it just has, you know, a little dimension to it. And that is the full makeup look. Let me know down below if you guys loved it. I know I do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well and subscribe and join the fam. And you can check out some of my other videos I have up on my channel. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. Bye.